I want to do a problem with you guys that you should know how to do from Algebra 1. And we're going to examine sort of what what's happening on a deeper level here because it's going to help us make uh, our understanding of solving with matrices that much easier. So this is a system of equations. A system is two or more equations that you need to solve. Um, and by solve, of course, we mean find the values of x and y that make both equations true. And in terms of the graph, it's where the lines intersect. So recall that in a, in a situation like this where your system is is uh, in this form, you've got your x's lined up, you've got your y's lined up, and your numbers all lined up. Um, the way to do it is the use of elimination, right? And by that we mean we need to get opposites of one of the variables. So let's let's assume we wanted to um, we wanted to eliminate the y's first. So I've got a negative 2y here and a positive 4y, and in order to get uh, and to make them opposites, I'd have to multiply the top equation by 2. And so now my system looks like this. So again, we distribute 2 to everything. I get 6x minus 4y equals 16. And then I just keep the bottom equation as is. Okay, and now I can actually add the two equations together, because when I do that, my y variables cancel. 6x plus 5x is 11x. Negative 4y plus uh, 4y is 0y. And 28 plus 16 is 44. And now we can divide by 11. And that means that x is equal to 4. And then at this point, what you can do is you substitute x back in, to either one of the equations. Let's do the top one. 3 times 4 minus 2y is equal to 8. And then this says 12 minus 2y is equal to 8. So that means that y is equal to 2. Okay, and so we will, what we would say is that these points, or these two lines, intersect at the point 4, 2. So hopefully that was just kind of a review. But I want to focus on what we actually did, or, or why elimination works at all. Um, and that has to do with the, you know, how we can manipulate equations. So let's, let's ditch the variables right now and just take, a, take note of something that you may not have thought about but it's actually really important and it's going to be really important when we solve equations using matrices. I have a true statement here, right? 2 plus 3 equals 5. I want to write another true statement below it. 9 plus 7 equals 16. So those are both true statements. So, I mean, how can we how can we manipulate either one of these or both of them in ways that produce other equations that are true. Well, the first thing we could do is we could add the equations. So like let's let's add the equations. So if we add the equations, does that produce a new true statement? Well, let's see. 2 plus 9 gives me 11 and 7 uh, 3 plus 7 gives me a 10. I'll keep my equal. 5 plus 16 gives me 21. Is that a true statement? It is. So we can add equations together and produce, and they produce new true statements. Okay, so that's a legal move. Um, what else? How about um, how about multiplying each equation by the same number? So, like, let's multiply the top equation by uh, 4. When you multiply the top equation by 4, you get uh, 8, I'll write it below, 8 plus 12 is equal to 20. And let's multiply the bottom equation by, let's multiply the bottom equation by, um, by 2. 
So I get 2 times 9 is 18 plus 14 equal to 32. Are each of those true statements? 8 plus 12 equals 20, yep. And 18 plus 14 equals 32, yep. So we can multiply equations together as well and get new, new true statements. And what about a combination of the two? Can we, can we multiply equations and then add them? Well, I think at this point, you can reason that of course we can, but let's just see. I multiplied both the equations, and now I'm going to add them. So 18 plus, or 8 plus 18 is 26. 14 plus 12 is 26. And 20 plus 32 is 52, a new true statement. So there it is. So th that's the point of doing that was to show you just in a very simple way that the reason elimination works up here, the reason it works is because we use these, these sort of, uh, these properties here, or these ways of changing equations. We use them to our advantage, right? The idea behind elimination is you, you want to get one of the variables to eliminate. And if your original setup doesn't have opposites, that's no problem because what you can do is multiply the equations by appropriate numbers, like we multiplied by 2, in such a way that will produce opposites. And we're, we're guaranteed that by doing that, we're not going to change what x and y are as, as answers. Like, regardless what we do to the equations and make it, you know, we made it look different, right? This looks different than our original, but that did not change what x and y equaled. Okay, so... Um, not to beat a dead horse, but this this is going to be very important when we do um, when we use matrices to solve systems. Okay, so just remember, all these things are legal. Adding equations legal in the math world. Uh, multiplying equations in any combination of the two.